Hi everyone, it is the queen of biohacking and I am back with David from Heads Up. I'm so excited to talk to David because the world is moving to a lot of data and how are we gonna store the data and all of this stuff. So tell us about your data-driven company. Yeah, well it started when I was trying to work on my own health, like mm -hmm. many of us. We came into this through a personal experience. Mm -hmm. And at that time, this was early in biohacking, so we're talking 10 years ago. There were no conferences, there were no cryo chambers, mm -hmm. there were no continuous glucose monitors, but there were still people out there that were trying to improve my health and improve their health. I was one of them. What I the challenge I had was the data that I needed to know if my health was improving was in five different doctor patient portals because mm. I'd moved a bunch of times. I and know how that is, yeah. So like even the most basic things I wanted to look at, like my lipid panels, my hemoglobin A1C, my testosterone, my DEXA scans, like the numbers that would tell me I'm moving in the right direction were kind of a mess. I had DEXA scans, you get a piece of paper when you leave the facility. You know, so I had papers going back 10 years. So what I, what I really needed was a way to put all that information together so that I could do my biohacking, measure something, and then retest and see if my numbers are moving in the right direction. And that's a lot of what biohacking is. It's a lot of your own detective work. Yeah. I mean, it's one of the foundations when I was in practice. What makes a clinic different than maybe a personal trainer? And it's a baseline measurement. It's doing something and yes. then measuring again. Did it work? Did it not That's work? That's exactly the system we wanted to provide. Mm -hmm. We wanted to make it simple enough that non-technical people could do it mm -hmm. and use it. So we made simple dashboards, simple okay. charts. Nice. And we just wanted to make it accessible so that well, first of all, biohacking could be accessible to more people. And biohacking it doesn't have to be expensive. It doesn't have to be complicated. There's lots of things you can do to biohack that actually don't cost any money at all. And so we just needed simple ways for everybody to measure their hacks, figure out what works, because an intervention that works for one person does not necessarily work for the next person. I and agree. some of it's genetic. Yeah. Right? Some of yeah. it's based on your life experiences up to this moment in time. It's based on your mental health, your physical health. So yeah. how do you give people ways to find the things that work for them? And the things that work for me will be different than the things that work for you. And for me, the way I wanted to do that was through data and measurement. Well, that's awesome. And let's just talk about a couple of things that maybe a lot of biohackers and even people that don't identify as a biohacker for example, you don't see my aura ring on. I actually accidentally left it on the charger, but people understand these trackers. Yep. So um, I heard you tell me a list of products that are gonna that are in your system currently. Yep. Can you share with everybody what they might have currently that could be tracked in the system? Yeah. So there's, first of all, what I call sensor data. Okay. These are things you and I can put on our body that will measure biofeedback. So gotcha. one is the Oura Ring. Mm -hmm. That's one of the most common devices people connect. And it's one of the easiest and most effective ways to start getting some good data about yeah. what's working and what's not. Gotcha. Heart rate variability, mm -hmm. sleep efficiency, yes. respiratory rate, body temperature. There's just great data on here. Uh, the second most popular one is a continuous glucose monitor. Nice, yeah. So, I feel it on everybody's arm when I give right them a here. pat. Yeah. yeah. So that's incredible because you get a blood, a glucose measurement every five minutes. Yeah. And you can just cross reference what you ate or what you did every single day and make these micro corrections. That's so that's awesome. the second most common one. Other ones are Garmin, they do a really good job. Mm -hmm. uh, more common around. Um, the athletes, yes, but they also do really good nocturnal heart rate variability, good sleep quality data. Uh, the Apple Watch, yeah, um, some of the blood scales, work. yeah. Work. You upload PDFs of okay. your blood work, and okay. the system will take the data out of the PDF mm -hmm. and clean it all up. Nice. So if you upload a PDF from Quest and a PDF from LabCorp, it'll we'll take the it. data and put it all in the same trend line. That's awesome. Like the simplest thing in the world we have not figured out yet in like mainstream healthcare, which exactly. is just like, yeah. I would just glue the data together. Uh, DEXA scans, okay. in-body scans, we nice. see a lot of those. 
we're starting to see a lot of the um, biological age testing. Nice, yeah. Getting uploaded, like my super fun. My artery is 67, but my brain's 22. We'll go with that one. Okay, I like both numbers actually. <laughs> 60 on the calcium score. That's pretty um, good. Well, 67, like my bio, my age. Oh, your biological because age. Because of the elasticity, I was hospitalized I nine months, so yeah. it's, it was my my aging, yeah. my aging artery. But we're gonna talk well about upon it, and we'll take it. All right, a little hyperbaric yeah. therapy in there, doc. Yeah, I yeah. gotta get that yeah. in. So. So those are like the the three classes of data are okay. like what we call self-generated. Okay. Diagnostics and then these biological age tests, you know, they all give us indicators of how we're doing. Yeah. And so those are the types of things we help you measure. And I loved, we talked a little bit in the hallway of like consistent development, which you are doing with your company because Correct, yeah. some companies will create something and just hold on to it for so long. And just like an iPhone, just like technology in the exhibit hall, things change all the time. Yeah. So that's why I say when you're making these investments, you want to make sure you're going with something that can adapt with the time. Yeah. So I'm excited to see how Heads Up grows in the community and all the different tracking devices that are going to connect with Heads Up because if you have a tracking device out there, I think it's a great way, especially for a provider. I have a clinic and for example, I have people that come in with 10 folders and all of these things. And if yeah. there's like, you know, if there's a way where I could look in a portal to see all of their measurements and if I prescribe them something and if they're getting better, it's a great thing. And they have stuff out there, but it's not comprehensive. Yeah. So they'll have a, a blood tracker, but again, if you don't order it through that company, you have exactly. to order it through, like I have three different blood trackers, like you said, Quest, LabCorp, there's Inside Tracker, but it's like, there's it's not well. There's taking, thousands of them, Function. Yeah, yeah. You know, there's all of them, so you, they're all great, don't get me wrong. Yeah. But, but the, so. the problem is how do we get all, they're all measuring basically the same thing. Exactly. Like, but just how do you get that back on the same trend line? Yeah, and when you go to your doctor's office and they're asking you a bunch of questions and you're going through all of these sources, often you'll forget the major questions you came to your provider for yeah. because you're just really trying to gather all the data, which seems crazy because there's another appointment, another appointment. It should be somewhere in a cloud. That's the problem I saw in the industry. Yeah. And it's basically a plumbing problem, mm -hmm. right? How do we get all these pipes connected? Yes. And then how do we present the data to you as a practitioner and mm -hmm. also to your patient in a way that's just simple and clean and intuitive? Yeah. So you can sit down with somebody and say, okay, let's look at your hemoglobin A1C today. Mm -hmm. You're at X, right? But where were you 15 years ago? Yeah. 20 years ago? What's actually the best reading you've ever had in your life? Gotcha. Like when you can see that type, hey, when you were 15 years younger, your HbA1c was 4.9. Let's yeah. get you there. Let's get you to 4.8. Yeah, and so I just- So now you get motivated by this stuff. Totally, and that was the thing for me because sometimes mainstream medicine will be like just once a year, you know, you don't ever get scared by the data, but for me it's empowering. And I do my blood work four times a year. Um, my A1c level is have always been optimal, optimal, optimal. Mm -hmm. But ever since I started really picking up conferences this past two years, eating at conferences, um, having a little bit of poor, poor habits, my A1C went in the red. Travel, sleep, cortisol, disruptions. Exactly. It's like these things show up in the aura data and then you see, okay, well, I'm, d I'm dysregulated, I'm out of homeostasis. Exactly. And you see downstream effects from other numbers. Yeah, so for me, I was like, wow, even though it was shocking, because I've never been in the red, I, I went green, past yellow to red. Like I was like, boom, right? So that was pretty quick. And I said, you know what? I can do something with this data yeah. and I'm going to show people how I can return my numbers. Yeah, beautiful. Just like that. So data is very empowering. And if you have a place to store it all, I really think that's priceless. Yeah. So talking about price, is it a subscription? Yeah. Um, is it a one-time payment? How does it work? Great question. So I initially built the system for individual use. Okay. So people like me who mm -hmm. were just working outside of insurance medicine, yes. trying to figure shit out, mm -hmm. and like we needed a good way to self-monitor. So that's the first product. It's like if you're an individual, it's $9 a month, $79 a year nice. to do basically your own data analysis. Lately, we've been mostly working with uh, concierge and longevity clinics. Okay. So if you're a clinic 
and you want to measure outcomes for your patients, yes. then you basically license it for as many of your patient population as you want. And we track each individual, but then we also track across the whole group. That's awesome because I definitely would like to do that in my clinic mm -hmm. because I always say data doesn't lie. Your clients lie, data doesn't lie. Yeah. They always laugh every time I say that. <laughs> I say blood work doesn't lie, your brain scans don't lie. And yeah. it's really a great way to just, again, identify these. I always say strengthen your weakest links. How I love that. Yeah. And, and for me, it's also about pushing myself to continuous improvement. Gotcha. I may not be at the best I've ever been in my entire life, but I know what the best was, you know, and I'm aspiring towards always getting back exactly. to optimal and then setting a new bar for optimal and then a new bar for optimal. And with each calendar year that we get older, can I get my numbers better? Exactly. That you know, to me is biohacking. I love it. So you're, you're my type of people. I always want to beat my own personal record. Yeah. And again, anytime my data is skewed, I bring it in as a challenge for myself totally. yeah. and the fact that I can always optimize my, my numbers shows yeah. how beautiful the human body is yeah. because it can heal itself, recover itself, repair itself if you give it the tools, which is why I love these conferences. And now with technology and data-driven company, like heads up, mm -hmm. I think this is going to be very good eventually for mainstream medicine because you have your parents out there if you're caregiving, you know, or your children and people yeah. have a lot of loads. So is it, do you have like a family bundle? Maybe a mom wants to track her whole family. Or yeah. So the way we do that is when families come to us, mm -hmm. we just set them up with like a clinic account. Oh, cool. So one person in the family becomes the administrator of the account. Perfect. Like I have my dad Moms. connected. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. My dad's 75. Okay. He's had a few health issues. And so like I set up the account, I invited him. He's got his aura ring connected. You know, I, I get a ping if like the data is going in, in a concerning direction. Yeah. Let's just say that. And then I have all his labs in there. So generally one person in the family becomes the administrator. Gotcha. And then you just invite the rest of the people in and it's a shared space for everybody to have access. If there's an emergency, I have all my dad's records in there. That's awesome. I can pull that up. So there's ways to use it for families. You just set up one person as like the account owner and they handle yeah. the rest. And that's amazing. And some people will look at a price point, for example, like um, a brain tap app could be over $200 and people say, oh my God, look how expensive. But I'm like, how much does it cost to go to the doctor? Yeah. Co-pays, all of that. And for me, 200 for a brain tap, you know, all of the meditations is priceless and $79 to have access and control over your data and to actually be able to utilize it because going through the conference, there's so many supplements, cryotherapy, um, cold plunges, peptides, peptides, so many things. Saunas. But sometimes people say, okay, well, I like cryotherapy. I don't want to go in the water. Yeah. Will this work? And then you get a lot of people and when, and I love all the salespeople, but of course, as a researcher, um, a lot of deliveries are biased. Mine's the best. Mine's the best. How do you know if it's the best for you as what you said? You so, test it yourself yep. and you cut through the noise. Yep, exactly. I it's, love cryo. I love cold plunge. I, I love track it all. both. Yeah. So for those therapies, I'm like, okay, I've been doing cryo for a month. Uh -huh. Have I seen improvements in my heart rate variability, my deep sleep, my body composition? You'll know pretty quickly. Nice. And do you just look at it or is there a place where you can say, oh, I just cold plunge? I punch it in. Oh, there's, nice. there's a place to log it. Okay. So cool. if you so want to test it. those kinds of interventions, yeah. you can track um, hyperbaric, cryo, sauna, cold plunge, PEMF, any kind of intervention you want to test. And then to your point, just because it didn't work for you doesn't mean it doesn't work. Yeah. You know what I mean? It may actually work for the next person and, and for their genetics and their condition. Or it could mean you didn't do it properly. Yeah. Technique is a lot of it exactly. too. So like, was your technique wrong? Like I've screwed up lots of biohacks gone wrong. Yeah. And so just even knowing if your technique is right can also show up in the data. That's awesome. And as a provider and I have patients coming in, maybe they have a main complaint or a goal. Mm -hmm. And let's say we're working together, whether it be, you know, um, 12 weeks or a year. We're achieving the goal, but there's things you can see that are happening, changing. Mm -hmm. There's things yeah. you can't see. But sometimes in life when there is like um, 
a hurricane. I live in Florida and people have to put up shutters, cut down branches. They're like, oh, my shoulder hurt. Did I ever receive any benefit from therapy? Mm -hmm. Look at the data. Mm -hmm. All your numbers have improved. These mm -hmm. are not, I, I call them non-scale changes. Yep. Like you can walk up the stairs, you can swim to the bottom of a pool. Yep. You have energy for your family. So mm -hmm. even if your shoulder hurts again, you can look at the data and say, I know I'm having improvement from this place. So I'm definitely a, a, a provider that loves data. So I love what you're doing in the industry, what you're bringing. Mm -hmm. I love I love the name of the company, Heads, Heads up, up. Yeah. Right? Yeah. So is there anything next for Heads Up or where can people follow you? Do you have affiliate programs? Tell us more. Uh, yeah, the, to learn more about how the system works okay. it, it is on our website at, at headsuphealth.com. If you have any questions at all about what to track, how to track, um, obviously we're here at the conference. I can answer questions for you. You can email us and we're happy to give you information on like how to get started. Um, you can sign, if you're an individual and you want to start tracking, just sign up for free for 30 days. Okay. There's no commitment. Use the system. If you like it, upgrade. If you don't like it, you know. Right? If you don't like it, you're Tons not going to use it tools out there. Yeah, we, <laughs> Some people like the spreadsheet. Yeah. It's great, right? So like if you like the system, you can use it. Um, if you're a practitioner, we can help you understand what are you trying to measure in your clinic and get you set up there. In terms of like what's next for us as a company, um, AI is becoming very interesting because what that will allow us to do is someone like yourself can log in and not even really have to learn our user interface. You're a busy provider, right? Yeah. Like the last thing we want to do is dump a new analytics tool on you that you're like, okay, I got to carve out time to learn where to even find the answer. Biggest I'm problem at. for docs. They're totally. Like, They're busy. They're like, I need to log in in three seconds and yes. get the answer to my question. Yes. Right? Like, so how do you do that? Mm -hmm. Right? The way you do that is you build a natural language processing interface to the data. Okay. So now you log in and it's basically just like ChatGPT, like, okay, pull up David's blood pressure over the last 90 days and show me the highest reading in red and the lowest reading in yellow and the average on the screen in green. That's awesome. Like just speak. Yeah. And it goes and does all the queries and just like serves it up for you. Oh like my God. that just removes all of the cognitive load of totally. working with data. Like then we can answer questions for you in seconds. That's what's coming up on the podcast. You would have laughed at me in my hotel room. I think I yelled three times, Alexa, what time is it? Yeah. And nothing responded. I'm like, Err. so <laughs> that's an amazing feature. Yeah. Thank you so much for Thank allowing you, me to interview you. Yeah, likewise, it was and, great. Um, I'm sure I'm gonna be integrating Heads Up at my clinic, the Exercise Center in Tampa, Florida. So stay tuned and I look forward to seeing more of David in the future and where Heads Up goes. Thank you. Thank you. It doesn't take one conference, it takes multiple. That's why I hope to see you guys in Chicago, Miami. You guys should join my WhatsApp group and we all truly become friends.